What's up guys, Johnny Picks here. Hopefully you are having a blessed day. Thanks for giving us another opportunity by checking out the video here. Today is gonna to be an absolutely awesome video. Uh, we actually ended up going to a local store here that helps send, um, with their proceeds and all that, send kids, special need kids, to summer camp. So really cool place, absolutely awesome. Uh, we definitely scored, I'll definitely get into that here in a second. But uh, other than that, we have our first update. We have our first two items sold. I'm gonna throw them up right here. Awesome profit on that one. Just shipped it out. Actually sold it here in the same state, so it saved a little bit on shipping. And there's our total. So let's get into this one. I actually have another video already ready for you guys for tomorrow, so stay tuned. Have a good day, guys. Alrighty, and here we are. So I think we ended up paying right around 28 bucks when it was all said and done. And I think we definitely scored here. So uh, starting off here, one of kind of my favorite pieces that there's actually not a ton of comps of. Um, I found, I believe it was this pen and this pen individually for right around nine bucks. Um, but I believe someone took these pens. They're 1972 Berlin, Berlin Olympic pens. Um, they're all sponsored by the post office there, but you can see there's four individual ones and I couldn't even find that one there in the middle. Um, but I believe someone maybe got that put together. I paid a dollar for that. Uh, I'm going to throw it up there for probably somewhere in the mid twenties and uh, maybe just slowly lower it and see what sticks. Uh, other than that, what, another thing that caught my eye was this hat. We could not figure out what this said. Uh, on the camera here, it's a little clearer now, plus I know what it is. But it is a Fiat Alice uh, heavy equipment hat. Uh, something like this. Looks like it's from probably the 80s, maybe early 90s. It's corduroy. Uh, it's also a huge size, too, which is nice. It's like halfway uh, extended and it fit my big old noggin. So uh, for uh, I believe I paid a buck for that one. Definitely going to pick it up. Uh, all their games were a dollar as well, so I found this one, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 11. It's got the manual and disc in there. Disc is in pretty good shape, uh, so for a buck, i definitely pick that up. Here's the comps for that. Uh, a couple military things here. Definitely caught my eye. It was a shirt. I paid $3 for it. It's a, a 1977 shirt, Cold Weather Field. This is a, a size small. Now, one thing to pay attention if you're just getting into this is the sizing on military stuff. A lot of the older stuff, if it's in a bigger size, it's worth a lot more. Um, so make sure that when you do price out your comps that you're finding a similar size as well. Um, pretty decent comp on that one. I paid three bucks for it, like I said. Uh, another thing that caught my eye, I might keep these, but I absolutely love them. Uh, it's a really nice pair of black insulated gloves. And I saw the tag here, and sure enough... Got some 1991 gloves, cold weather intermediate. So, not too bad there. Uh, a couple other things we got. I found these for four bucks. These are Nike Zoom LeBron 11 Soldier. I believe these are the uh, olive colorway. Uh, for four bucks, I'll take the risk on them. Looks like they should sell somewhere in the uh, mid 60 to 70 range shipped. Uh, I've been into clocks recently. This is a Timex Indigo. Model numbers here on the back. These are super easy to uh, look up. It's a T433B. Decent comp on that one. I paid a buck for that one, and I paid 75 cents for this one. This is a West Cox Clocks. And again, pretty easy to find the model numbers on there. And pretty decent comps on that one, too. Uh, other than that, we got a couple pots here that caught my eye. These are Everwares, or wherever, excuse me. Uh, this is a 701, I believe this is a 702. Uh, one of them had a lid, one of them did not. Uh, I paid a dollar for each one of them, and uh, I should at least be able to get a decent amount back, plus uh, shipping. Uh, we hit on some watches here, my goodness. Uh, let's start right to left here. So a lot of ladies' watches, nothing super crazy. A lot of uh, kind of $10, $12 watches. Uh, a couple of these are a little bit more expensive, a little closer to 20 um, but I paid 10 bucks for all of them, and that includes these three up here that I threw in a lot as well. Uh, an S-Shock, which I couldn't really find anything on, a Digi Analog, and then also a couple other ones. A um, couple key mentions here to kind of look out for. This is a Timex. Um, it was just called a Quartz Lithium on eBay. They sell for like 30 to 40 bucks. Um, definitely keep an eye out for it. I pay 10 bucks for all of them, so if I can get 30 for one, it's definitely going to be getting my money back. Uh, this is another good one, too. This is a Casio F85. Get this orientated for you. 
you can see the F85 there in the bottom left. It'll focus. There we go. Um, so this was the only broken watch out of all of them, of course. And uh, turns out it's probably the one that was worth the most. There's a broken copy I'll put up right here. Uh, a little weird sold from Thailand, but um, a broken copy there that sold for somewhere in the mid-20s. So uh, that's kind of what I'm going for. And that was, I believe, just the head as well. So uh, a couple opportunities to make a little bit. Uh, probably the absolute score of the day, though, was the golf club set that I got here. So I got a set of a boo chart. Woods. I believe it's a wood and a driver. Two woods and a driver. I believe that's the driver. Here's the third one. Look these up. A little hard to find a comp. It might be uh, something that maybe I refinish these and then... Uh, you know, maybe try and list them for a little bit higher, or maybe just sell them as they are. Some Kent Smith. Let's see, some of you really loved these things at some point. They had their names on them. GOIZ, another good brand. And then I found a couple putters here as well. So this is a Ram Zebra. It's a couple different colors of this one. This is the black one, which is a little bit rare. Um, all these clubs were 25 cents. So I think I ended up getting nine of them and uh, ended up going up to the front and the guy's like, hey, if you want, just grab a bag. So I had already uh, mentioned to my girlfriend that I really like this bag. This is a vintage Dunlap bag. Uh, so I definitely ran back there, got it, and uh, ended up finding a receipt from when it was brand new in 1991 for 60 bucks. Um, these bags are a little hard to price. There's one or two similar out there to this one. Um, but I think for free, you definitely can't beat that. Uh, another club I got here is this Northwestern Tom Weisskopf 303. A little beat up, but just obviously reflect that in your price and it'll move. And then this is a really interesting one. So this is a Goldsmith product, Golden Eagle 6E3, regulation 502, 10 iron. And I didn't know what a 10 iron was, and I had Googled it. And it said it was a uh, you know, putter, or a, uh, excuse me, not a putter, a uh, pitching wedge. And I did not think that was right, so I did a little more research when I got home. And apparently, it's a old-fashioned putter. I'm trying to find the uh, wood grain here for you guys. I don't believe it's bamboo, but it might be like mahogany or something like that. There's really some, some texture on it. Um, I could not find a single thing about this. Um, so I think for a quarter, again, you hear me say this every single episode, but I will definitely risk it. Uh, I'm going to throw it up there to see what sticks, and maybe somebody crazy will buy it. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. If 